Hey everyone, thank you so much for being with me once again. Today you can see the look that I'm gonna be doing. It's a fresh, clean liner and lips look. Nothing crazy, it's just a nice simple look that's good for daytime, nighttime, pretty much anything. I think I saw a picture of um, Cara Delevingne and she had the like winged liner and these pink lips and it kind of inspired me to do this look because this is a look I like and I love pink lipstick. I just kind of never wear it, so I thought this was the perfect time to do a tutorial. And actually, before I get into the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag coming up in the next couple of weeks, so um, in the comments, go ahead and leave me any questions that you want answered, and I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. I want this to be a clean look, so I'm not going to do too much in the eyeshadow department. I'm just going to start with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer. Anytime I'm going for a matte finish, I definitely like to use this primer. Now I wanna go over this with just a really neutral matte color. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lavish Palette and I'm gonna use cream. I'm just gonna tap that over my primer. And one more thing I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of depth to my crease. And really all I'm using is a bronzer by Makeup Forever. It's a matte bronzer, just so I get a little bit of that darker color to add a little more dimension to my crease. You might barely even notice a color through the camera, but it's just gonna add the slightest bit of depth. Okay, we are ready for the eyeliner. I'm gonna be using my Ico Liquid Metal Eyeliner in Black Onyx, and the reason I love this pen for a look like this is because it deposits color so well. It like just glides right on and it's really opaque and kind of shiny too. So you can see here, I've started out pretty um, conservative in the inner corner and then I fan it out once I get to the end. So just gonna anchor my pinky on my cheekbone and with my eye open and my head tilted back slightly, I'm just gonna start at that inner corner with just a very thin line right in there. And then once I get out further, I'm just gonna thicken it up a little bit. That's really the hardest part of a liner look like this is just starting out. The rest of it isn't too bad because once you get that basic shape, the rest of it isn't too bad. So I'm just gonna go in and just using the very tip of this fine pen, just going to fill in whatever I missed. So this is that meticulous boring part I was telling you about. This is why I'm only doing one eye. But in order to get that perfect symmetrical liner, take some work. All right, that's not too bad. So now that I've got the liner drawn out all the way to the end, I'm just gonna take a little more from the back of my hand. And I'm gonna um, turn my head to the side and just kind of map out the angle of the wing. So I just want to make sure it's the same on the other side. So I'm going to start from the very end and just work my way up. And again, compare with the other side and make sure it's about the same angle. Looking good. And then you're going to go in and fill in and try to create like a nice curve. This takes practice, so don't be discouraged if you don't get it. I see so many comments about people saying, I can't do a winged liner, it's so hard. I know it is really hard. So just practice and you'll get it. And I'm also gonna extend this just a little bit into my bottom lash line and then the rest I'm gonna fill in with a gel liner. So I'm just taking my little angled liner brush and I'm gonna open my eyes real wide and just press that into my um, the inner rim of my top lash line and also in the inner corners here too. You wanna really darken up that lash line for a look like this. And then with whatever's left, just gonna go into the bottom lash line as well and just go about halfway or not even halfway. Okay, liner is finally done. So now I'm gonna move on to mascara. I'm using the um, Tarte 
Lights, Camera, uh, Flashes mascara. Okay, moving on to the face. I am actually going to use a tinted moisturizer that's kind of um, a medium coverage tinted moisturizer, and it's Illusion by Hourglass. It's so good. I mean, I can't even wait to put it on and show you guys. It's got the perfect olive ashy tone for my skin, and the coverage is perfect. It's not too little, not too much. I just love it, and it just gives my skin this luminous effect. So now with that same matte bronzer from uh, Makeup Forever, I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring. Nothing crazy. If you hear snoring, by the way, that's my dog. Just contour it up. And now I'm just going to pop some bright pink blush on. This is by The Balm. Just going to dust that on. And I'm going to add just a little more highlight with this fan brush by Pirouette Professional. This is another amazing product from Hourglass. It's called Ambient Light. And the color I'm using is called Luminous Light. It's one of my favorite highlighters that I've ever used. So I'm just going to take my fan brush and apply that above my cheekbones. And now for the finale, the pink lips. I tried a ton of different lipsticks and the one that I thought looked best with this look is this pink lipstick by BH Cosmetics. It's their Cream Luxe lipstick and it's called Pop Cultured. You may have noticed that I pretty much never use a lip liner. And I really have no other reason for that other than I'm too lazy. There it is. I hope you guys liked it. I think this is such a great look for pretty much any occasion. This could work for daytime. It could work for nighttime. I just love it. I think it's such a fun, playful look and it's youthful. So I hope that you liked it just as much. If you did, you know what to do. So I hope you guys will be tuning into my channel for the rest of the year because I've got some pretty exciting giveaways coming up. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.